Yo, what's poppin' loyalists? Welcome back to the channel. This is Dom ZNT, aka Glitch Guru. In today's GTA 5 online video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get a God tier level outfit, all right? God tier level outfit, I repeat. All right, this is gonna be an all white modded outfit that we're gonna be getting from the solo director mode glitch. If you guys aren't familiar with this, check out some of my previous videos, but I will be trying to cover just about everything that I can possibly cover to help you guys get this really dope customized outfit for yourselves. So we will be trying to get a white joggers outfit. So keep that in mind guys, we're going for the white joggers. So hit that like button right now and let's get right into this video. So the very first thing that we're gonna do is start up an invite only session. Once we are inside of the invite only session, we're gonna make sure that we have on a standard outfit. You guys can get one of these outfits down at the clothing store under the outfit section called standard. And you guys wanna take off any accessories with that outfit if it came with glasses or a hat. Once you have that, make it down to the time trial which moves from week to week. So it will be in a different location every Thursday. Make sure you have your spawn location set on last location. Then we'll go up to style and we'll switch on our parachute bag once we have the parachute bag on, we'll back out of the interaction menu and we should get a saving icon down at the bottom right hand corner. Now it doesn't have to be the Israel parachute bag, but if you guys want to be like Dom ZNT, then use the Israel parachute bag, all right? And if you're trying to bring back a duffel bag, it may help, but we have already proven that you don't need an Israel parachute bag to bring back duffel bags. All right, keep that in mind. So we'll just pull up to the time trial with our vehicle, hit right D-pad. Hold down on the D-pad from there once the time trial is started and then we'll switch to any story mode character that we want. This time around we chose Trevor. Once in story mode, we'll just go into director mode so we'll hop out of this vehicle here. So we can open up the interaction menu, go down to director mode and launch director mode. So next we're gonna set up our shortlist. So we're gonna go down to shortlist actors. If we have anything inside of here, we're gonna hit triangle to remove it. If you can't go inside of here and it's already grayed out like this, then you're good to go. That means you don't have anything inside of your shirtless and we're fine to continue with this glitch. So from here, we're gonna go up to actors, animals, and now we're gonna shirtless our bird character. We can do this with the chicken hawk, the pigeon, the crow, the comorant, and the seagull. All right, so we're, we'll hit triangle to shirtless that one, back out, go down to online characters, and next we'll shirtless our online character that we wanna do this glitch with. If you guys are doing this with your female character, then you shortlist your female character or your second character. But after that, we'll just back out his circle, go down to exit to story mode. And once we're in story mode, we'll just launch director mode up really quickly again. So open up the interaction menu, go to director mode, launch it. And this is gonna help make sure that our birds are duplicating now. All right, so from here, we're gonna go into our shortlist actors and we're just gonna switch between our bird character and our online character, all right? Just by holding up on the left analog stick. And every time we switch off of the bird, we should see it duplicating and splitting, making more and more and more copies, okay? So if that's not happening for you, you wanna do one or two things. You wanna go back to story mode and then come back into director mode and see if it works for you then. Or you guys wanna go back into an invite only session and then take your parachute off or put your parachute back on or just switch your outfit, whichever one you guys wanna do. And then start the time trial back up and come back inside of director mode and see if your birds are duplicating then. And just keep repeating that process until you guys have your birds duplicating, okay? So from here, we'll just be duplicating our birds for 26 minutes. We will set a timer. We will go AFK, set the controller down, but it will take 26 minutes for our character to jump on top of the haystack. Once that does happen, we'll hit triangle to remove the bird and then we'll press circle to go back to the casting menu and then we'll go into actors, beach bums, down to bodybuilder, any one of these categories and we're pressing square down to change our appearance to make sure that we have modded outfits. And I'm going into each of these categories and I'm changing my outfit about five to six times. And I'm trying to make sure that the modded outfits are sticking around and our characters aren't turning back into normal characters. I have a video on that as well. So look that up if you guys are having issues with that, but we're just gonna move right on. Cool, now that we have our modded outfits and we are sure that they're sticking around, the next thing that we want to do is look for an outfit that has a working Christmas mask. I have a video on a list of all working Christmas masks. I'll put a video card here at the top right, but you guys could also search it up on YouTube. Look that video up so you guys will know which Christmas mask you can use to bring outfits online. But in this case, since I believe I will be coming back to get another outfit, we will be using the penguin mask or the elf mask 
the one that is not wearing glasses, okay? The elf mask without glasses or the penguin mask. And apparently the penguin mask freezes a lot faster than the elf mask without glasses. So we'll use the penguin mask in this case. Um, I had this in my recently used. If you guys have a Christmas mask in your recently used, you can shortlist that and freeze from there. But before I shortlisted this outfit, notice how I was hovering over the outfit first and then I just backed out and I went into my story mode characters and I went down to Brad to remove the body armor because we don't want to have any confusion with the body armor freezing or our mask freezing or whatever other component we want to try to freeze, alright? So we don't want that to interrupt with the freeze of our mask. So that's what I'm trying to do first. So I found this outfit with Brad. We went down to Brad and we hit triangle and we shirtlisted it from that point. All right. So while hovering over Brad, we then hit triangle to shirtless this outfit without the body armor. Okay. So that's what we did here. Next, we can begin our freeze mask process. So before that, we need to remove the GTA online character from our shirtless. So I did that and now we can begin our Christmas freeze. All right. So look, we're going to go very, very slow for you guys. All right. So I'm going to just try to start from the very beginning so you guys can catch this. So we only have this one outfit inside of our shirtless. From here, we'll just back out his circle, go to actors, beach bumps, down the bodybuilder, press square once, twice, three times, as many times as you want. And we're looking for the Christmas mask to become frozen. Now, it's definitely not going to happen on your first, second, or third try. It's going to take at least 15 to 30 minutes, I would say. A lot of people get it sooner but most of the time we get it a lot longer than that it might be 30 to 45 minutes so we might get it you know somewhere at that point but it's not going to happen your first try you just want to continue this process until you feel like your outfits are starting to change really really fast once that happens that means you're getting very close if you accidentally go into story mode or director mode then that will kind of like reset your time so we'll just keep going into our short list Hover over that outfit for one second, back out, go to Actors, Beach Bums, down to Bodybuilder, press Square a couple of times and see if the Christmas mask will become frozen. Now, I also did this. I went into Animals and I jumped my character on top of the haystack. Well, it put my character on top of the haystack. And from there, we just backed out, went into Actors, Beach Bums, and we're pressing Square to change our appearance. And I believe that this will help you guys get the Christmas mask to freeze a little bit quicker so you guys might want to try that as well because um not too long after i did that putting my character on top of the haystack i was able to freeze the christmas mask so we're doing the same process and we are about to freeze the christmas mask here in a moment so it did take me about 30 minutes this time around to freeze it but um we just cut this out we cut that out and uh we're about to freeze it right here so notice how I was actually going down into Taurus because Taurus was moving a lot faster. When I was pressing square there, my outfits was changing a whole lot faster. So that's kind of what we want. We kind of want to go based off the feeling of how quick and smooth our outfits are changing once we, we're backing out of you know our shirtless and going into actors and any one of those categories to change our appearance. So 30 minutes later, I was able to freeze the Christmas mask, but notice my joggers actually froze with it. I got really lucky, guys. I know a lot of people won't have that, but I got super lucky. And the reason why I had the white joggers with the penguin mask in my recently used already is because I did that from a different tutorial, a different trip inside of the DM, and I already had it inside my recently used, and I saved my shortlist by going into story mode and you know creating a quick save that time around when I did it the first time so I got super lucky I froze my Christmas mask along with the joggers at this point you guys would be looking for your joggers uh, you would only have the Christmas mask frozen if you didn't have the Christmas mask along with the joggers so um, you would be looking for white joggers right about now so you just want to keep changing your outfit I recommend that you guys go into military and then look in that category because white joggers seem to appear for me in there a lot so you guys will look in that category until you find white joggers once you do find those white joggers you guys want to shortlist them and then you just want to go into your shortlist remove the outfit that you had in there previously and you should only have one outfit in there and that's going to be the one with the christmas mask and the white joggers your christmas mask will remain frozen as long as you don't have a different outfit in there with a different christmas mask on it so you should be good to freeze the joggers next which should take you about 15 to 30 minutes to freeze the joggers doing the same process of freezing the christmas mask going into your shirtless 
and backing out going into actors beach bombs pressing square to change your appearance a couple times until you get that to freeze and you guys want to do that consistently and you guys want to do that with a certain speed all right but uh from here we have the outfit that we want so basically all you guys would need to do once you have your joggers frozen is look for an outfit that you want with white body armor if the body armor disappears what you guys want to do is go into professionals go up to hairdresser from the bottom too you want to go from the bottom so you don't unfreeze your joggers if that's the case for you if you're already at that point you want to go from the bottom and go to hairdresser hover over there that's going to give you great body armor then you guys want to go back down one category i think it's it specialist press square to see if, if you got the color body armors back and continue to do that until you get your body armors back all right just go back up to hairdresser gray body armor down to it specialist press square to change your appearance until you get color body armor back i had video of that i don't know why it's in it's not in here but you know i tried so once we have the outfit that we want all we did was we shortlisted it and we went to our shortlist and we selected it it took us into director mode with it from director mode we held down on the d-pad and we switched to any story mode character that we had available so we're now in story mode with this modded outfit if you guys are lost rewind the video i'm off track just a little bit because i'm explaining a lot of things here but since I have some things in my shortlist there that I kind of wanted, we're going to create a quick save. That way I can go back later and get some of those modded outfits. So I'm going to open up my phone, go over to quick save and put this in a brand new slot. That's going to allow us to go back later, even if we close the application to get outfits from there using the bird kill method. I have a video on that as well. It's called how to bring multiple outfits online. Check that out. Since I know I'm going to go back and grab another outfit, that's why we use the penguin mask and that's why we created our quick save. If you're not going to go back to get multiple outfits, do not create a quick save because it will give you those errors when joining a session. So we're going to hit online, go to an invite only session now and the moment we launch this, we're going to hit the PS button. We're going to go down to overview and of course you guys want to make sure that you wait your 20 seconds in story mode with your outfit on. But then we'll just hit more from GTA and it's going to bring us back into the game like so. And now we'll just be waiting until we get this alert message saying fail to connect. If you guys don't see this and you don't want to use this method, if you don't see more from GTA, then you guys can use the Xbox method that I posted. Um, that's up on the channel as well. It will work for PS4 and Xbox alike. But if you're doing it exactly how I'm doing it here in this video and you use the more from GTA event, then once you guys get that alert message, you want to accept it. It's going to kick you back to story mode. Once we get into story mode, we want to make sure that we are fully loaded into story mode. So able to move our camera or whatever, then we'll just close the application and we'll launch GTA back up. So from here, I'm going to close the application and I'll see you guys back in a second. All right, we're launching GTA back up after closing the application. And you know what I'm going to do from here, guys? I'm going to actually press square so we can go online from this load up menu. So I advise you guys do that as well. It may take a lot longer to get into a session, but we want to make sure that we get this outfit. So that's more important than how long it's going to take us to get into the session. So I recommend that you guys do it this way. You can start up an invite only session and it should still work that way from story mode, but um, I'm going straight online because I want to make sure that I get this outfit. And once we got into the session, you can see that I'm wearing the outfit but we did get this alert message which is fine we'll just accept this alert message it's going to kick us back to story mode cool from here we'll hit options start up another invite only session go to online play gta invite only session launch it back up now once we get into the invite only session now we should stick we should stay we shouldn't get kicked all right, and we do have the modded outfit on. Now, this is the modded outfit that most of you guys voted for. I haven't checked the voting polls in a while right now, but I was looking for a very quick response and I was already in direct demo. So I was trying to decide which of the eight outfits that I posted up on the community board that I should bring online. And a lot of you guys said that I should bring this outfit online, number three, right? But then I went, I looked back, and then a lot of people were saying you should bring number six. A lot of people were saying you should bring number one. Uh, so we are going to go back to grab another outfit here in a second. So you guys want to stick around to the end of this video because there's so much more that we're about to cover in this one video. So stick around. 
but for now we are going to go down to the clothing store so we can save this outfit so we don't lose it as you guys can see i got the headphones with this too from director mode which is pretty cool i ain't gotta worry about that so we'll save this outfit right here god tier level type outfit you know it's not exactly the, the outfit that i wanted i did want the trine top you know white body armor on top of the trine white joggers that's what i was going for that's why it was going to be god tier level but this came out okay you know it came out cool i don't really do the checkered outfits too much but it's cool yo notice how when i opened up the interaction menu after saving the outfit and i went down to style and i went down to outfit it was already labeled god tier level right that means this outfit will stick around guaranteed all right it was already labeled if it's not already labeled after you save your outfit it's a good chance it's going to disappear but um next let's go back to get another outfit so we'll go back up to the time trial hit right d-pad press down on the d-pad switch to any story mode character that we want from there we'll uh, be in story mode open up the interaction menu go into director mode from here we are going to go into actors animals and we will select our chicken hawk or whatever bird that you guys use to duplicate and get your outfits all right so for me it's the chicken hawk all right once we are in director mode we will hit options select the map and we're going to go up here to the top of the map like this and we're going to set a waypoint right about there so you guys want to set a waypoint right about there on the street somewhere open up the interaction menu after that and go down to location switch it once to the left and select waypoint by pressing x boom that's going to teleport you guys up here to this location where we will do our bird kill method now so we can get our second outfit so this is how you get multiple outfits guys all right, so if you got more outfits in your shortlist or you recently used, this is the method that you use to go back and get them. So we are going to just, we're going to take off with our bird. We're going to open up the interaction menu. From there, we're going to go down to quick director mode, hover over that, line ourselves up with a truck right before the truck hits us. We'll hit X and we want to wait on this alert screen. So right before the truck hits you, you want to select X to quit director mode and you want to wait on this alert screen for about 20 seconds and then you guys want to confirm it. All right, so you guys will know that you did this part of the glitch correctly. For one, if you get a long black loading screen. So that's the first thing that we want to look for. Second, we want to look for the cutscene of the truck running us over and us getting that wasted animation. So if we get all of those things, we know that we hit this part of the glitch correctly. All right, so we're waiting for that. Now we have the long black loading screen. Next, we want to see if we get the cutscene of the truck running us over. And we have that cutscene and we have the wasted sign so we hit this part of the glitch correctly so next we're going to go back to a black infinite loading screen that's completely normal uh from here you won't be able to see anything on the screen but you want to press the touchpad and hold it until the interaction menu pops open you'll hear it in the background if you have your tv up a lot enough to hear it then you'll press up on the d-pad and then you'll select x and then you'll select x again to confirm that alert screen because basically we're just opening up the interaction menu and going down to quit director mode behind that black infinite loading screen okay so that's going to take us back into director mode now we can go into our short list and we can select any one of these outfits guys and we can bring them online let's take a look to see what outfits changed because a lot of the times when we come back the outfits will change they won't always be the same right so we shortlisted this one right here. If you guys remember, it had a pink long sleeve shirt. This one had like a long sleeve shirt on it as well, like a whole bunch of colors to it. A lot of people were saying bring that one online. I think that was number six. And um, all of these outfits are still here. The only thing that we could be sure that's not going to change is pretty much the joggers. Definitely the joggers won't change. You'll always be able to go back to get joggers if you want to get multiple joggers. If you don't want to, you know, do the whole glitch over to get another pair of joggers, you guys can get them all at the same time, to be honest. All right, but um, we're gonna take this outfit online. We'll just select it, take it into director mode. Once we're in director mode with it, we'll hold down on the D-pad, switch to any story mode character that is available. Boom. All right, we're now in story mode with this outfit. We wanna just run around with this outfit on for about 20 to 30 seconds. I usually run right down here to the mailboxes and stop. And once we get to this point, we'll wait around until our 20 seconds is up. And we'll do the method of using more from GTA, that event. Um, if you guys don't have that event, you guys can use the Xbox method. It will work for PS4 and Xbox. So from here, we'll just start up an invite only session. Once our screen freezes like that, we'll hit the PS button, go down to overview, over to the right, and then we'll go down to more from GTA and we'll select that event tab right there. 
It's going to take us back into the game. We'll be in the clouds for a second or two, and then we should get that alert message saying fail to connect. Now, for you guys who don't want to use that method, check out the video that I posted for the Xbox users, and it works for PS4 as well. So it's not just for Xbox users. So check that out. Um, but from here, we'll just accept this alert message. It's going to kick us back to story mode. And once again, once we get into story mode, we'll just wait until we are fully loaded in and we are able to move our camera and then we will close the application and we will come right back. So I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, we're back. Let's skip through this one a little bit quicker this time around. We're just going to press square to go straight online immediately. And we'll just wait for us to load into our session. It's going to take a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a you know, longer time than usual. But we want to make sure that we do get this outfit. So we did load into the session with the outfit. As you guys can see, you saw it for a second. And then we got this alert message, which is cool. We'll accept this alert message. It's going to kick us back to story mode. That's fine. Once we are in story mode, we'll launch up another invite only session. And we should be good to go. But the good thing is we do have the outfit which means that we can save the outfit. It'll be there once we get back online. So we're good to go. So start up another invite only session. Boom. All right, drop down and we should have this outfit on. All right, let's see. And just like that guys, this is how you get multiple outfits and bring them online. Now you guys really don't even have to go watch that other video that I suggested earlier in this video. But check it out anyway because it is a full tutorial on just that. How to bring multiple outfits online. Just in case you guys didn't catch everything from this video, check that one out as well. Alright, so now we'll just go down to the clothing store, save this outfit up as well. And we'll name this one Tan Heart. You dig? All right, and just like that, we're good to go. Now with this outfit, we could actually change our shoes on it. Now with the last one I bought online, I wasn't able to change my shoes without losing the top part of my outfit because it had a glitch shirt within it or whatever, so it just kept disappearing. But with this outfit, it's clean. You know, nothing on it is really that glitch where it's gonna make it disappear. So I was able to change my shoes and boom, we're good to go. Like, look at that, that's crazy, right? Take off my parachute bag, this is clean. I'm gonna clean it up even more later. I'm gonna add some more stuff to it. Tell me why this outfit is looking better than the first one I brought back. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Yo, I was really thinking that the first outfit, number three, was it, right? And then we got this one online. I had the, the white shoes to it, the white gloves, and it's looking super, super clean. But you guys still want to stick around to the end of this video because I will show you guys what I did with the first outfit. I added some, you know, a couple of accessories to it. We'll add some more to it later. I'll try to add some race gloves to it, but I'll show you guys what that outfit looks like here in a moment. But let's save this one up once more because we did change the shoes, we changed the gloves, and um, it's looking dope, man. It's looking real dope. We gotta do some more things to this outfit as well. But, um, all right, man, let's get over to that next video clip so I can show you guys what the other outfit looks like. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely let me know below the God tier level. Let me know which one is your favorite outfit, all right? Out of all the outfits that you saw in my shortlist, let me know which one that you would've brought back and uh yeah we'll talk about it down in the comments but um let's move right on to the next 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 part of this video which is the last part of this video guys so we're wrapping it up right now appreciate all of you guys for watching to the very end of this video but this is the outfit it came out super super dope but uh that's it for this video you guys it's a very long one but I'm trying to get this channel up to 100,000 subscribers and I need each and every single one of you guys watching to so do me a favor hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new turn on post notifications as well please help me help you you guys and keep bringing you these great GTA 5 online videos until next time this is your boy glitch guru officially ew. peace stay loyal and click one of those videos on the screen bro what you wait for man white duffel bag god tier level outfit damn all right peace